Hey guys, Dirty Pooster here again. Um, real quick, want to go over some Nox lag issue things that you can try. I've had no issues with Nox lag. These are all things that have been brought up in my chat. Um, just going to run over them with you real quick. Uh, some of the things people mentioned helping. Uh, there's a lot of settings in here. Um, obviously, uh, your root needs to be on for your location and all that stuff to work. Uh, I've been told that when you download Nox now, you automatically have to install the APK. So make sure you get the new APK, um, get used to it. This is something we're going to probably have to do every time Pokemon Go updates. Uh, there's settings in here. Mine are all set to the standard uh, startup settings. You can change to, uh, some of this stuff to see if it helps you. I've kept everything the same. Uh, my CPU allots 1024 for this. Um, these properties I've never changed. I've never changed the advanced. I know that also um, what this does is if you're having an issue somewhere on here, I've never had this pop up for me, there's going to be a red exclamation mark. Click that exclamation mark. It's going to tell you how to get your... Uh, Pokemon Go and your Nox to work a little better. I'm not sure if it's in this panel or if it's in the Pokemon Go panel. You're just going to have to look. Uh, for the most part, people have been also having issues with the GPS not working. What I recommend you do if the GPS is not working, first thing you need to do is go get the new ABK. Um, it's going to prompt you, make sure it's rooted. There's another video um, in my channel it tells you how to update the APK, go through all those steps, and if it's still not working, um, you need to start looking through some settings and see if you can find something for the GPS. Uh, I haven't messed with the GPS, it just started working for me. Um, all I did was have to hit the locations map and it started working right away. Uh, another option that you can do is you can go to your BIOS and figure out where to turn on your visualization. This should be different for each motherboard, so I can't tell you how to do that. Uh, even if I could, I wouldn't probably go into my BIOS and show you how to do that because this is like the last step that I recommend is changing stuff in your BIOS. I don't think it's going to hurt anything, but you never know. The last step anybody's going to tell you is to get into your BIOS where you could potentially do uh, harm or mess up your startup if you hit the wrong thing, which is unlikely, but it could happen. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today is some minor tips on how to get rid of this lag. I don't work for Knox. I don't work for anybody. I just This is just stuff that people have said in my stream that's helped them out a little bit. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you in my stream. Um, another thing you can do, this is my stream. I hosted King Gathalion. Um There's still quite a few people in here. All these guys are mods. All the mods will definitely help you. You can go in here and ask these guys. Um, these are all real people that are just chilling in here. You can go in here and ask these guys for some help, and they're going to help you out. Um, also, uh, we just got a Dirty Pooster Bot set up that just pulls straight off of uh, Pokesnipers.com, and it's working really well so far. So a big shout-out to Andrew for setting that up for us. Um, but as far as the video goes, we're going to stop there. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out a little bit and alleviates some questions.